Today I am going to tell you about leadership techniques in SGA. Of all the leadership attributes, listening may be the most important. The leader who listens knows what's going on around him or her because listening opens the doors to genuine communication. It demonstrates respect and caring for others, but listening only gets you part way to better leadership. You may also learn from it and use that learning to guide your actions. It's only through learning that we are able to change, grow, and prepare for the future. A big part of any leader's job is to provide energy for the organization. Leaders are the batteries that jumpstart people and get individuals and teams moving in the right direction. Along the way, leaders serve as cheerleaders to keep the energy up and the organization running. Getting and keeping people excited about their jobs, enthused about the team, and motivated about what they can accomplish is no easy task. But every day, in every place, large and small, men and women find the ways to generate the energy we all need to help us and organizations to succeed. Great managers are aware that productive employees are those who are satisfied and happy. Identifying unsatisfied employees is a tough task since the signs are often subtle. However, there are common indicators that could help you address these issues right away. If they're underperforming and resistant to coaching, you might have something that needs to be addressed immediately. Disgruntled members negatively affect productivity and morale of the whole team. Do not assume that you know the reason behind their dissatisfaction. Always assess, not assume. Talking directly to the individual is the best way to get about this. Also, do research by looking into their work history, productivity over a period that you could be the source. Other possible factors are the current job status, another team member, or something totally unrelated to the time at work. Gather as much information before deciding how to act. Use this opportunity to show them there are much more than an employee on file. Trust can be important when it comes to managing a team, as well as communicating with your customers, clients, or prospects. Aside from just being honest with your team and anyone else you communicate with throughout the course of running your business, this also means holding up your end of the deals you make. If you commit to an event or a new product launch, for example, sticking with those commitments can go a long way towards building trust with a variety of different stakeholders. As far as effective leadership skills go, it is one that you may not want to overlook. You might not think that fun is an essential leadership trait, but your team members are likely to spend a great deal of time working for your business. And if that doesn't include any fun, then they probably won't stick around or work as hard as they might otherwise. However, if you're able to create an environment that includes just the right amount of fun for your team, you can potentially keep everyone happy and productive as they work towards achieving your business goals. Effective leadership often requires respect. You often have to give respect to your team in order to earn it back from them. And if you don't have the respect of your team, then you may not be able to get the best possible work from them when it comes to supporting your business. Leadership Techniques course at school will provide an in-depth study of the leadership techniques of decision making, problem solving, meeting skills, communication, group conflict reduction, time and stress management, evaluation, team building, group dynamics, motivational strategy, and the role of leadership in a democratic society. The content should include, but not be limited to, the following. Development in areas such as self-esteem, goal setting, and character building. Enhanced leadership skills and the ability to function in both a group setting and the community. Now watch Coach K talk about leadership techniques in SGA. SGA is Student Government Association and people run for office in the student government, Stranahan High School student government. So we have a president, a vice president, a secretary, a treasurer, a parliamentarian, a spirit coordinator, and an event coordinator. And they plan the stuff at Stranahan High School. Student government's in charge of the homecoming spirit days, of which I'm trying to type this up so that I can get stuff done, but I took my time off to do adventurous kids. Leadership Techniques is a class where students learn leadership qualities and improve their thought processes so that they can become great leaders. Critical thinking are those seven things over there on the sideboard that students should use to try and figure out what is going on with situations in their lives. We do projects, we clean up the school, we do the recycling for the school. We plan the Spirit Fridays, we plan the homecoming week. We come up with a lot of different things that benefit the school. 
having Elijah in my class. This is Mr. Thomas Kostelansky signing off. Thank you for watching this episode of Adventurous Kids.